Soccer 605, we're here with Coach Kendall Velgersdyke of the Sioux Falls Christian Chargers. You guys look pretty darn good tonight, Coach. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, yeah, the season's early still, obviously, and, and we're a team that's a work in progress. A little bit younger than we've been in the past, but we're very excited, too, about the future and about the future of the season. Well, you know, we were a little concerned because you graduated some big guns, but it seems as though those concerns were not well-founded at all. <laughs> you know, we did, but that's something, too, as a team, we, we knew what we graduated. Uh, we don't talk about it really anymore, and, and we've yep. kind of had to move forward from that. Um, you don't replace, you know, a Lee Winya or a Matt Scott in goal. But what we have done as a team is everyone has improved individually, and we've really stepped up as a team. And we're going to need to win as a team. And I think our boys are capable of doing that. We're going to need to play a better brand of soccer. Um, and we're not there yet, but we're working on it, and we'll get there. Well, you've got some nice senior leadership, and then a, a really nice junior class there. We have a ton of juniors, yeah. um, that, that, and that's exciting, too, looking to the future. But with Paul and Joey, our two seniors leading us, it, it, they've been here for four years now, varsity players for four years, and, and they, they know exactly what it takes to lead a team. They do a great job both in practice and on the field. They were pretty verbal on the field. Like Very verbal. The rest of our team, not so much, and that's something we got to work on. Our communication, we're just, we're so, we're quiet as a team, and, and good soccer teams aren't quiet. They talk. Yeah. So we'll, we'll get there. We're, we're young, and this is our third game together as a team, so we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. keep working at it. They're moving the ball well, taking shots, taking plenty of shots. Taking plenty of shots, yep, and, and that was our problem over the weekends. We didn't seem to finish as many as we would have liked. We had a lot of possession, but but St. Tommy and Belfouche, they, they came down here and they brought it. They both played very intentionally. Both, they're both well-coached soccer teams. Um, I think we might hear some more from them throughout the year, and at the end of the year, they could both be in the top six. We'll, we'll find out. So, But they brought it, and, and we we had we went through some growing pains those first two games, but um, we got a big one Saturday. We got to regroup now tonight. And, and Is that James Valley Christian? Uh, yep, yep. Always a good rivalry there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and, and they're good kids, too, which makes it a lot of fun. I really like their coach. I like their team. Um, they're hardworking. They're, they're really well well coached and they bring it every year no matter what their talent level is they bring it so and this year their talent level is up plus their intensity you know it's going to be high it's going to be a good game and you're going over there for that got to right? go down there which will be fun it's always fun playing down there two years ago we went down there and tied a 1-1 and um, we were there for that game that was a good one it's a good one yeah and it'll be a good one again saturday all right coach well congratulations on this nice win tonight we're looking forward to seeing you guys out on the pitch again uh, best of luck with the rest of the season thank you appreciate it, carol thank you.